Widely hailed as the king of fish, Atlantic salmon is renowned for its superior quality among salmon varieties. Traditionally reliant on imports for consumption in China, the Nordic Salmon Ras Land-Based Aquaculture Project is poised to alter this historical trend. After nearly two years of cultivation, how is the growth of Atlantic salmon farming in Xiangshan? Recently, our reporters visited the Nordic Salmon Ras Land-Based Aquaculture Facility located in Gautam Island Township. Now we are in Ras Island, as you said. Uh, we have approximately 1,000 tons of uh, fresh Atlantic salmon just ready for the market. We have uh, two years of uh, production here. And of course, uh, this will be our first batch that is produced for the Chinese uh, market. Uh, the production uh, capacity for this project is around 4,000 uh, tons of fresh Atlantic salmon. And the next phase will be the same. And maybe the last one, uh, the third uh, stage, with the phase three, is uh, we can reach about uh, 20,000 uh, tons of fresh Atlantic salmon. The company utilizes a world-class recirculating aquaculture system that continuously monitors water quality, simulates the natural growth environment of Atlantic salmon, adjusts water flow to stimulate fish movement, and promotes healthy growth. The current growth status of the fish surpasses initial expectations. We every day 我们整个系统的话，随时都在循环着，水都在不停的更换。当我们水是一个非常好的状态的话，鱼会吃得很好，然后鱼的生长情况也会很好，然后整个一个呃产量就能提上去。The project started long time ago in 2016, and with a lot of cooperation with the local government in in Gautang and Shangshan and Ningbo, we have today managed to build a factory, and I think we can show that that is possible to do in a cleaner. More efficient, more less space uh, use of land. Leveraging the Nordic Salmon Ras Land Based Aquaculture Project, Xiangshan County is comprehensively constructing a salmon industry chain covering breeding, cultivating, and deep processing, thereby leading the transformation of traditional fisheries in Xiangshan towards high end and ecological practices.